Hi, camp friends. Welcome back to another night of cabin time from Novus Way, from Luther Ridge, Luther Rock, Luther Springs, and Luther Ranch. I'm Mitzi, and Chandler is usually the person sitting in this chair, but tonight it's actually my husband, Jason. I don't know if you know this, but Chandler and I actually live in different states, and we've been filming cabin time in advance so that we can be together to film cabin time. But now with all the shelter in place orders, we have decided it's safer and smarter for us to film cabin times separately. So some nights you'll have Chandler and some nights you'll have um, Jason and I, and we are going to bring cabin time to you in that way from now on. So we'll start by lighting our candle. And I am not a responsible adult. <laughs> he is. And Jason, um, who was on staff and played the guitar on staff years ago, is going to lead us in our first song, You Are the Light of the World. And we've done this one already, but we're going to sing You Are the Light of the World, and then we'll also do the verses You Are a Candle in the Dark, a Star in the Night, You Are the Light of the World. So here we go. director at Luther Rock and Nathan Boykin, who um, helps schedule all of our programs and everything up there for helping us with foot washing and a little secret, it snowed like two days before they were in that creek, so it was super cold and we are super grateful to them for teaching us about foot washing. So tonight we are going to pick up our Maundy Thursday story. Yesterday, we talked about the foot washing piece of the Monday Thursday story. Jesus did a lot of stuff on Monday Thursday. And tonight we're going to talk about the communion part of Monday Thursday and the confession part. So we continue. As the disciples were eating, Jesus sadly told them, soon one of you will betray me. One of you will tell people who don't like me where I am so they can take me away. This upset the disciples, and each one said, It's not me you're talking about, is it? When Judas said this, Jesus gently replied, 
Yes, Judas, you will betray me. Then Jesus picked up a loaf of bread. He blessed it and gave some to each of his friends, saying, Take this bread and eat it. This is my body. Then Jesus picked up a cup of wine. He gave thanks and said, Drink this. It is my blood, which I must give up, so the sins of people may be forgiven. When the meal was over, Jesus and his friends went to a place called the Mount of Olives. Jesus said sadly, Soon you will all leave me. Peter felt bad. Even if all the others leave you, I won't, he said. Jesus looked at his dear friend and said quietly, Before the sun rises, Peter, you will pretend that you don't know me three times. Peter said, Jesus, I love you too much to ever do that to you. And all the other disciples said the same thing. In tonight's story, we hear about communion. It's something that you've probably seen at church a lot. When we go up to the front and the pastor gives us the bread and the wine. And what's really special is that that's something that folks were already doing as a part of the Passover. And Jesus turned it upside down. And he gave us this new gift that promises us every single time we take communion, that we're forgiven, that our sins are forgiven, no matter what we do or what we don't do that we're supposed to do. Jesus forgives us. But it's not the only time that Jesus forgives us. And I know right now in our church, we can't gather. And so we're not able to actually have communion together with all of our friends at church. And it's kind of sad But that's not the only time that Jesus promises forgiveness. You can ask for forgiveness anytime, and it is your gift from God. So tonight's activity is a little forgiveness box. You can take a box, any box. I'm betting you're getting a lot of stuff from Amazon in the mail right now. Um, (laughs) So you can take any box and cut a hole in it. And you can decorate it any way you want. My decorations are really simple because I want you to see Jesus loves me and Jesus forgives me. And when you write something and put it in this box and you ask Jesus for forgiveness, it is a promise that it is forgiven. Anytime you ask, whether you put it in the box or not, that the box kind of makes it fun. So tonight's activity um, for you to do tomorrow is a forgiveness box. So now... It is time in cabin time for you to press pause and to do your highs and your lows and your God moments. We'll be back in just a bit. Welcome back from your highs and your lows and your God moments. We're going to close tonight's cabin time with a song called One Name. Because when God gave us Jesus to die on the cross for us, when Jesus gave us communion, they turned the whole world upside down. One name under heaven, whether we must be saved.
again. So let's pray tonight. Repeat after me. Do what you do with your hands. Hey God. Hey God. It's us here at Cabin Time. It's us here at Cabin Time. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our friends. All across the world. All across the world. Who can gather. Who can gather. And sing songs. And sing songs. And hear your word. And hear your word. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for communion. Thank you for communion. And thank you for always forgiving us. And thank you for always forgiving us. Amen. Amen. Good night. <laughs>